Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, no, you know, Madeira. Well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. Especially YouTube. If you want to see our visuals, definitely sign up for a membership on YouTube because that's where you're going to see all the exclusive content, uninterrupted, unfiltrated. I mean, just everything you want to see because you know, ECO is going to chop up and cut up all these clips and y'all not going to see that full interview for a while. So y'all, if y'all want to see it before, just go ahead and sign up for our membership. You'll see everything first. Hey man, listen man, we got a special guest today, y'all. Uh, she don't need no introduction, man. I love having her on the show. I asked her to come back and bless us with her presence, man. Check it, man. CC reacts in the building. CC, Cecilia Robinson, however y'all know her. Listen, man, she's the one you want to uh, tune in to see, huh? Mm-hmm. Let's check it out, man. How you doing? I am doing good. How y'all doing? You been busy. Good? I'm looking, all right, not compared to you, I'm, I can't look at you and scale myself, so I got to make sure <laughs> I scale by my own scale. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So how you doing, man? I'm doing wonderful. I don't got no complaints. No man, whatsoever. man, I, I'm telling you, man, uh, you know, I know you uh been, you know, around, you know, you Texas is a great state. Let's just start mm -hmm. the uh, interview off like that. We want to start it off saying Texas is a great state. Um, I'm getting ready to go back up to Chicago. Uh, I'm, I will be visiting a Harold's Chicken again. You gonna we give them a second it. chance? Yeah, I want to go because she said the she first should. one was not no, the one. No, not the right one to go to. So she got. We got to get the right one down pat to make sure we go to the right location. Yeah, he built a new like that location right there. Horrible. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I want to say the people who got the location out here is the ones who own that, but, we gonna say that. <laughs> but I'm not going to say that. You know what I'm saying? But they got the new location on 87th and the Dan Rand, big building um, over there where the Toys R Us used to be. Harold's Chick. 87 at Dale Ryan. Dan Ryan. Okay, okay, okay. So it's good that she said on here because I'm going to go straight back to this video to make sure right down that address. So when are we going? It. It's a big, big build. It's a big build. It's like. It's and the that's biggest the biggest. What makes them better than any of the other heralds? Because everybody cook chicken different. It's so many heralds. Heralds is a thing of Chicago, but you have a bunch of people who buy into it, and a lot of people don't like to um, um, follow the recipe. I was about to say, aren't they supposed you know, to follow that certain you're supposed recipe? To, but you can't tell niggas what to do. <laughs> they spent their money. You can't tell them what to do. So I mean. It's just one of those things. You got the one that's on the 111th, 103rd, 103rd in Halsted. That's my one of my faves. Okay. Um, you got the I, Crazy Harry McGee that's on 88th in Stony Island. Mm -hmm. That was great. You know what I'm saying? They got so the why are you sending us to the new one then? Because I don't want y'all ass to get lost. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't. I mean, if y'all feel like, uh, um, you know. No, I want to go to the best because if you're talking about Harold's, and this is the last time we're going to try this. No, no you got to try it. Okay. Until we get it right. No, this is the last time we're going to try this. So you have to send us to the best one so best that we one. can get it. It's Percy's. Okay. 87. Percy is my my folks. Okay. That's, that's 87. That. And Percy's name is attached to it. So what's the address on that one? 87th and the Dan Ryan. Okay, that's... Okay, okay, cool. And um, so we're going in November. How's the weather going to be in November? Cold, it's cold. Like no, in November? You the first part you. of November? You, it's cold now. What you mean? First part of November. It's cold, <laughs> it's cold now? now? Yeah, it's cold out there. Uh, it's fall. It's fall. You know, okay, so I, need, so I need thermals and all of that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it might snow. Not yet. Too early for that. No, it's not. In Chicago? Yeah. It's not. Oh. What y'all going, like the 20th or something? The early part. The first part of like the first, yeah. first um, week or two. It's cool out there. It's like, it's cool out there. It's jacket. Jacket cold weather. Okay. Like, not no whole bunch of layers of weather yet. No, you gonna put on some. Like I seen my grandbaby yesterday. Uh, she had on a coat, a sweater, a thermal. I said, take all that off that baby. Uh uh, it was that cold. 
I don't know. That my daughters, they dress them kids up. Put, they gonna put them kids on some coke. <laughs> man, let's get into it, man. So I see that you know you have a new product, and we want to do our first uh, unboxing on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Uh, I see the box. Can I? Can I grab it? Can I hold you can it? Grab it. I love the box. It. The box is grab beautiful. It like you want it? Yes. Uh, this box right here, man. Listen, man. You got to see this. Great look, quality. Look at the quality of that thing right That's there. That's a man. huge box, though. Man, it Thank says Chicago. You. What is the, what, what's going on here? Okay, Chicago. What makes it's the Chicago Theater? I, and that sign is, I, I'm telling you, that's it's the sign iconic. everybody think about when they go, go to Chicago. It's an iconic sign. Like, sure so, is. so, man, I'm going to take this shoe out of here. Y'all ready? Is that your size? Is it for you? No, but it's still, it's an unboxing, so I'm going to unbox it. <laughs> And I think these are not metrosexual, are they? Is it? They're unisex. Okay. It is unisex. Okay, let's mm -hmm. check it out. Man. So you would look nice wow, in them shoes. Package, package nicely. Package nicely. Yeah. The box costs money. The box costs some of you niggas gonna get y'all money right. Pull that okay, shoe out see, of there. Let me see. I got it. It came in a bag. Yeah. Ooh, wee. Y'all yeah. check this out. Thank so, you. okay, what, what goes in? Man, listen, the mm. first show feels nice, don't it? The fur is nice. What girl. is Benny Benny, Benny C. C. Benicio? What's that? Who's that? That's Benny my C. brand. Benicio. That's an, where you come up with that name from? Me. <laughs> but that's not Benicio. your name. That's yeah. my alter ego. Look at these shoes, man. Really? Stop playing. Yes. Never heard this you use that name. Zebra print. I could kill the y'all. You do some of them stories. Okay. Benicio. Yeah. Benicio. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Benny C. Benicio. Benny C. What does it mean? Benicio. It means does it have a meaning? No. <laughs> I just thought just it was, listen, you I just call. came up with it. Dope. Dope. It's like, okay, Benici that's all me. Benicio. Yes. Stop playing. Man, so what goes into getting, because, you know, I ain't never had just a shoe made like this. Like, what was the process of going, you know, getting something developed like this? Um, Actually, that's not my first shoe. Really? So I have a Keep total of 14 shoes on sale. I've been making 14? shoes. Fourteen, yeah. Dang. Um, I've been making designing shoes and making my own shoes for the last four years. Wow. So I mean, it's just one of my things. I just want to do it more now. Okay. So what goes into it? I sit there and pick out the shoe, like the prototype that I want, and I design. You sit down where with whom? On my phone while I'm on the toilet. Oh, yeah. so you so you do all of this from your phone? On the phone or the so, computer? Because some people always feel like, here, baby, give it to me. Some people feel like they got to go to um, Mexico or, you know, not Mexico, I mean China or whatever to get their no, own No, my shoes brand. are made in Italy. Italy. Turn, turn those boxes around. Look at look at the boxes. It's tell you, it tells you where it's made. It tells you the size. Okay, hold on, hold on. It tells you my name. Benny C. Ben Benici Benicio. Benici okay. Benicio. Benicio. Uh -huh. By Don't Cecilia Robinson, right. limited edition. Mm -hmm. Made in Italy. Yes, my so shoes. So you know, so she bougie, right? That's yeah. bougie. And those That's shoes, expensive. <laughs> they are. How <laughs> much are they? Those shoes are two hundred and sixty-nine dollars. That ain't that ain't just bad. I mean, it's affordable if y'all get your money right. The quality is great, real leather, um, and fashionable. And do we have to, how do we pre-order some? So if I wanted to bring some into the store and have me a couple of, uh, at least a few pair of foot display. You order in bulk. Okay. But how, okay, what are the sizes they go from? They go from a size 2 to an 18. Size wow, 2 18? as in like kids 2? Mm-hmm. To a size 18. In men. In men. Mm -hmm. How do they run? Do you do you carry wide width? Because some women have, you know, wide oh, They feet. carry wide or they carry just regular. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever thought about, so it's only tennis shoes you do right now? Or? Um, I'm actually working on a pair of heels and stuff, but I don't wear heels like that. But boots, you so, can do boots. Boots, I got boots. I have boots. That's what I'm like. So yeah. you have done boots before, or you have boots no, coming out? No, I have out? boots now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So and they're um, flat, or have a little heel, or they are like um, who is this dude? They like what you have on. Okay, okay, like combat boots. They have come. I have combat okay. boots. I have UGG, uh, UGG uh, type boots. Cool. I have my own. I just have my own. Where do you get inspirations for the designs? I like fashion. I like to dress. Just ideas. Like people don't know that. People won't know I know. Like if I'm just going out, running to the store or something like that. Because you I look just, comfortable. Yeah, I look comfortable. I put on some leggings and stuff. But when I pop out, I pop out. I love to be dressed. But you know what? I had a roommate in college that one thing I could tell you about this girl she would make even the, the comfortable stuff 
mm. dressy. She was like the girly girl that I just couldn't stand because I, I was a tomboy, so I hate girly girls. <laughs> and I'm like, man, but she made everything, no matter how simple it could be, leggings, what she gonna have on a big earring, she gonna put something, she gonna sauce it up, mm. and she gonna make it look cute. And I'm like, I'll throw some basketball shorts and t-shirt and go about my business because I don't care. Yeah, you want to know something. Um, I used to be the type of chick that's always going to put on a pair of stilettos. I'm always going to have um, some fitted jeans and little nice little tanks. I've had a little, you know, my tatas. I have, well, you don't right, have a shit. Right. Have a you know, I'm a pop. I'm a pop. I'm a pop. <laughs> and then I'm I'm a whole grandma. Um, when I when I, I start gaining weight, and then I end up going to prison. Like mm-hmm. when I started gaining weight, just certain stuff I didn't, my body my body type wasn't for that no more. Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh, bitch, I'm not gonna be out here 300 damn and 400 pounds from stilettos now. But you got them big girls who still be doing it and that, popping that, it. not me. That ain't me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's just not me. And so I started getting comfortable, started getting comfortable. Now, when I went to, um, I started getting comfortable. I put on a pair of Gucci sneakers, but everything was always designer. I was a designer freak. Okay. You know, um, just a a whole designer junkie. So when I went to end up going to prison or whatever, and this is some real stuff, because I lost a lot of money when I was hustling. Mm. I lost over a million dollars. It is what it is. And just think how much money I spent on designer stuff. Um, And and I, I think different. I, I think real weird, you know. When I was locked up, all that money I was stealing from them damn banks and everything, and spending that money on designer stuff. And now one of them damn designers reached out to me. <laughs> no, they not, didn't. Not, and Gucci ain't uh-uh. saying nothing to me. Not the banks who own Gucci. Uh-uh. Louboutin ain't saying nothing to me. Uh, uh, Ferragama ain't now one of them thought about my black ass. A lot they of, didn't know you. They didn't know a damn thing about me. Yet I'm up here knocking over everybody bank to go get their stuff. Right. Damn them people. Mm. Wow, I want to talk about something you you don't skip over with O E C E O. You you just said something that struck a nerve with me. Uh, how did you lose a million dollars? That's what I was just about to ask her too. Um, Let's detail that because a million dollars. I listen. I've lost money, not no million, but I've lost money. How do you lose a million dollars? Um, it's not all at once. Yeah. Um, collectively. Um pouring into people that wasn't worth pouring into. Um, instead of people trying to figure out their own way how to get stuff, I'm the I'm, I'm they come to you because I'm you're the blood. first point of contact. You talk to me before you talk to your parents. Like, you know, um, taking on other people's responsibilities, making poor choices, not investing the money. I'm hustling, like hustling heavy, but not investing the money. Um, bam, bullshit. Family? Family, some family, a lot of friends. You know, all the friends that disappeared when I went to prison. Okay, so them friends, yeah, they gonna disappear when you go to prison. We Shit, family too. Family, friends, all that stuff detached themselves from you what? because at the end of the day, when you go into prison and you getting ready to leave, everybody, you know, they, they you lose them when you're fighting, trying to get yourself out of trouble. A lot of times you see them leave at that point, right? So... When you got ready to go to prison, like you, you already were losing money. How much money did you have? Would you say when you were going into prison? When I was going into prison, um, okay. When I first went on the run, I had about eighty thousand dollars. Okay. You know, and I broke that money up between it was two dudes that I was talking to, my children, um, left their grandparents um, with some money. That's when I first went on the run. Now, some of that money was put out into the street, and this is some real shit. Some of the money that was put out into the street was supposed to uh, make money while I was gone. Instead, motherfuckers went to the club and 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 paid for their friends to get in VIPs and bought weed to smoke, and no, nothing was... I had absolutely nothing. It was to the point, like, my jewelry and stuff. My jewelry and shit had to be pawned. Wow. I came home, and, and it, wait... Let me here's, here's the here's the funny thing. Now I said when I first went to jail, I didn't say prison. When I first went to jail, meaning I have to go through a whole process. So they didn't so wait that long. <laughs> bitch was locked up for thirty days, and they gave me a bond. When they gave me a bond, I came home and every fucking body was broke. Mm. Oh, you got out on bond. 
That is, cause I have to, I, you know, they, they put me on tour. So I had to go to all these, these different jails and shit, come up on my charges before I could even get a reign for my initial charge. So when they found, I finally went to go see all these people and they figured out what they want to do with me. Um, I finally get to my, my real people, the real judge, you know, that I had the biggest case that I had been indicted on and they give me a bond. Feds come get me, you know what I'm saying? They didn't want me. Send me right back. All right, cool. Got my bond. I got my bond. Bond out. Go, go to Chicago. It's 30 days. I'm only gone 30 days. And all these super stupid motherfuckers done spend every day. Did you cuss everybody out? Man, fuck them. Yeah, I, I couldn't cuss everybody out because right now I'm trying to figure it out. So people try to, a lot of people always say, well, how did you end up catching another case while you was out on bond? Because a bitch was trying to get back because they spent all my money. Wow. And you had to pay for lawyers and everything else. Uh, oh, oh, pay for. oh, life. <laughs> my lawyer cost me $30,000. I gave him $15,000 initially. This motherfucker showed up in court with all his dirty clothes on. Huh? huh? Where you get that lawyer from? Was he a court appointed? Yeah, he's not a public defender. That's a court appointed attorney. That's yeah. a public defender. I had a paid lawyer. And he come up in he the courtroom dirty. Else. He had somebody else what? in shoes. He just uh -huh. woke up. I don't think my judge was so disappointed in my choices in life, including that lawyer. Damn. So you you, you felt like, damn, this ain't going to be good when you got to court. You already knew. I know. You, I mean, when you, when you, when you listen, when you, when you behind one, you always try to stay hopeful. You know what I'm saying? You always, but it was that look on the judge face. He just looked at him. The judge was just like, Miss Robinson, you could have, you know. <laughs> I know you laughed yourself. I know you laughing now, no. but I bet you that oh, day you no. was not smiling uh, at all. Listen, uh, it, uh, oh, no, I wasn't. It's like your suit jacket don't even go with your pants. Like your <laughs> shoes. Who got you them shoes you got on? Like his tie. Who taught you how to tie a tie? I know you don't show up all your. Anybody who ever got this dude, I know they went to jail. This dude, so he just didn't. What made you pick him though? Can't recommend it. No, no, no. Can't recommend, <laughs> recommend it. That's somebody else who went to jail. <laughs> it ain't like you get your way went to jail. jail at the same time. Why would you take somebody who went to jail? Listen, listen. I, this is they ain't even no words for this stupid shit. Because nobody will ever believe it. How old this. were you at this time? Um, you I must have been like. No, nah, you I too old to know, you know no, better. No, 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 no. You have no, to know no. better. In my defense, I had never had to deal with the police, judge, none of this shit before. But I, you in the street life, I'm sure people talk. I don't talk I'm to them. I don't talk to people who go to jail. <laughs> Fuck, I'm trying to stay out. I want to talk to the people who are free. You're not making no money in jail? Who making money in jail? I hear a lot of people be making money in jail. I found out when I went to jail. <laughs> Shit. I, I don't mean I, it was nobody in prison or whatever that I was talking to. Everybody I was talking to was out free. We we thriving. You gotta understand, none of my friends have jobs. You know, motherfuckers have businesses or or back then everybody was hustling the same type of hustle. We running, we running these streets, we doing whatever. We not out there game banging, we not out there um on the corner. None of this. No. God damn, we at the fight. We sitting at the fights. We in Las Vegas. Every time you look up, we in a different city some damn way. I don't, none of my friends, none of the people I hung with was typical people. We all was hustling our own way and we all touching money. So when you're touching money, you're not trying to kick them with no motherfucking body who up there smoking Newport and sipping beer out of fucking cup. Bitch, I don't drink. Okay, but CZ, you get to prison, right? Let's just skip on to prison. You get to prison your first day. You don't. You've heard stories about prison. Oh lord. Okay, so you <laughs> you get to prison. prison How was jail. it? Prison. I'm prison. talking prison. Which one was worse, prison or jail? Well, I did my shit in both, so it don't yeah, matter. So which one was? It what, wasn't no worse. What did you do in jail? I kicked. Oh, you went back to jail. I kicked it. The fuck? I had my way. Yeah, because you were, I was, you were I in Chicago, gonna, right, at that time? No, you t listen, well, okay, you said when I'm going to jail, when I first learned myself in or when I had to go do my time. When you had to go time. do your time, that's where I went, but she went back to jail, so now no, it's no, like, no, she no, said no, she no, went no, to no, both. No, 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 I turned, listen, I initially turned myself in when I, look, when they indicted me, they threw me out there, boom. You know, I'm all on air by the news podcast, all this other stuff. You know, um, I went on the run because I had to get my kids from um, um, Philly to Chicago. 
You know, and I want to thank CPD because the motherfuckers knew I was on the run at my kids' school because I had to enroll my children in school. But they allowed me to take care of my kids and handle the business I need to handle with my kids without arresting me. Wow. wow. They see you. And, and they hear some real life shit. Them people, the whole time I was gone, those those officers, you know what I'm saying? Not all of them. Some of them some dickheads. But those certain particular group of officers, they rallied around my children and made sure my children were good. That's mm. big. That's huge, actually. Yeah. So you okay? You in county? How are you? You they spent your money, mm. so you now you getting ready? You in county now? No, no, ready, no, 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 on, no, Getting ready to go to prison? How no, no, is no, that? no, 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 no. It's a it's a whole listen. They spent the money when I initially got indicted, and I finally I turned myself in. Man, I went on the run three times. Three times. Oh, now, when listen, you got out, you kept running. No, 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 no. So I get out. I got to bond out. So I'm gonna fight my case from. From the streets, you know what I'm saying? But they didn't spend my money. So what do I do? I go back out there to make to some, more to make money. some more that's money. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, right. a, that's how I end up catching the other two cases. Damn. So I end up, um, I end up, um, I just kept going. I end up messing with um, um, checks. I got booked for that. You know what I'm saying? Um, the traveler checks. And I had a good ass run with that. Stinking ass over time accounting. But you weren't um, smart with it to me because then if you already know that um, they already you are on a bond on one thing, so you know that they already looking for you. So why you felt like you couldn't get caught with the other two? Miss Jamaica, have you ever been locked up? Never in her life. No. Are you from the streets? Never in her life. Don't tell me <laughs> I wasn't smart to you. <laughs> exactly. Get out of here. Thank God, God somebody found this interview. Found a check somewhere. I don't say nothing because I'm married to her. I'm married to her, so I don't say nothing. I sit back and watch. I don't even, I love this interview. No, because I love this interview. This is a great interview, you idiot. No, that's just true. You don't know if you ain't never been. If you ever been busted for over 500 grams of cocaine and then you gotta go to jail. Have you ever done that? She right, I agree with you. Listen, she became the whole comment section. Are you <laughs> so when I got when I um when I got out on bond, you know what I'm saying. So, but of course, ah, my face is out there, but my face is not out there everywhere, especially if I haven't been there. You know what I'm saying. Um, so when I started messing with the the TCs, which are the traveler checks, I went to Minnesota. I did a run in Minnesota. Now, um, I had some chick <clears throat> come in and school me. Now, when you this is some real shit. When mm -hmm. you ready to do this stuff, if this is what you want to do, and you still you got your hands on everything, you do have people come in to teach you. You know what I'm saying. This is what fucked me up. Let me let me back up a little bit. Um, the initial case, I had became a teacher. So people don't don't realize this. I had became a teacher. I was making so much fucking money that the people who was over me, um, I was making money with them. So they wouldn't give me shit else. So I had to put my money up and get my own stuff. Mm. And I wasn't scared to go up in there and get the money that I was getting. So it's like, okay. And then I was telling them like, yo, I want to do something else. So I'm finna get ready and stop doing this shit. I felt like I had made enough money. Like I said, I was up. I was up. So how I catch the case, they wanted me to teach this bitch who told on me. Okay. So that's how that's how I caught that case. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? That's how I got indicted. The bitch told. Mm. She up in there, she wanna stay on the phone all night and all this. Ugh. Plus you can't teach no bitch who sell pussy to do nothing else. The only thing that bitch know how to do is sell pussy. Instead of her trying to go up in there and get the bank shit right, this bitch is on the phone trying to sell some pussy. Bitch, you can't serve two masters. The fuck? Either you gonna be out there on the corner selling that coochie, or bitch you gonna get your man right so we can go and rob these damn banks. Now you pick one. Can't do it all. She must have must making more money selling stuff. The bitch, one, the bitch was stupid. <laughs> stupid. Anytime a bitch is super dark with some red hair, sorry, sexy red, I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about this bitch over here because she was dumb. You know. But she wasn't she was smart enough to show up in court and start telling. That bitch walked up in the court. <laughs> that bitch walked up, baby. Listen, that bitch walked up in the courtroom, sashay Shante. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The weed. In her head, she had pulled that shit back in the bun, and this bitch had, she looked like a, uh, 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 I don't know what the fuck she looked like, <laughs> but she looked like a bitch who was finna tail. She walked past me and my, my Cody, and she sat down, all prestigious, and, and she you knew it. it. No, I was the fuck, I, 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 I was in jail. Oh, so you weren't in court at that time? I mean, I was in court. I, I was, was out. 
Oh, yeah. Right, my no, first thing. Oh, okay. So she came up in there. They had us in some little, this is in Pennsylvania. They got us in some little courtroom or whatever. They got this bitch housed up in there. She came out with a matching suit and shit, looking all prestigious. <laughs> bitch, you a whore. You ain't prestigious, <laughs> whore. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bitch, you was out on bond for robbing your mama. Like, like she had not out on bond, but the bitch had paroled out for robbing her mama fucking pawn shops. That's why the bitch told. Like, bitch, you, that's nothing. You that's ain't even see your fucking her. kids, whore. I can't stand that so bitch. So how did she tell her? She pointed she, at The bitch pointed like this. <laughs> you did. Bitch pointed like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All graceful and shit. I couldn't believe it. I was sitting there. Imagine, you, I had weight on me. I had dropped so much fucking weight because I was stressed the fuck out. I've never been through this before. You know what I'm saying? Like, people can tell you whatever they want, but if you're not going through it, you don't understand. You, don't know. you just don't know. You know? She walked out there, shoulders back, look like she came from the ballet and she was a fucking ballerina. And that bitch sat down. She sat down next to me across from my Cody. He kicking me under the table. And I'm looking at this bitch out of the corner of my eye. My lawyer told me, don't look at that lady. She's going to say, you trying to intimidate her. Because <laughs> I want to put these paws on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, the bitch pointed like this and pointed like this, pointed at me and my Cody. Damn. So. Ain't no, I, ain't no getting out of this. So you end up at this point now, and I want to get to where, okay, I'm in the county. I know I'm about to go to j prison. How, what was your, how was you preparing yourself to go to prison and you had never been there before? Um, well, I went to, uh, God bless me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, listen, people say jail and prison is a curse and you fucked up. No, that's where I was supposed to be at in life. You know, I learned so much stuff. And believe it or not, I was covered the whole way around. Mm. I my whole be I did not have a hard be. If anything came at me hard, it was because of me. Mm. You know, um I was locked up in Pittsburgh. You know, when when I, the initial Oh, you bitch, you going to prison. You're going to prison. When that initially started, I was locked up in ACJ, Allegheny County Jail. Okay. And um the initial when I get up in there, that first day I get up in there, first I'm downstairs, got all the little crackheads and stuff, detox and everything, they finally get us upstairs. When I get upstairs, like, man, y'all, I'm big, I done took my weave out, you know, I look like Kevin Gates and shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm up in my cell, so, you know, people, when you got new people come on the pod or whatever. How many know, people, you, was, it, was it a dorm or was it a was a two-man cell or what was it? Um, it was a two-man cell, but it's, it's, a, it's a big ass prison unit. It's probably Probably like, uh, it's probably like eighty cells. So they, you know when y'all come out to the day room, when they let everybody out, y'all can all come out yeah, together. Yeah, you got upstairs, downstairs. Like, yeah, we can all come out together. The common room, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's called common room. Yeah. So when I come up in, you know, when I come up in, them motherfuckers in the door, I come up in there in the middle of the night. So they're like, we got new people, new people. Then mind you, I got all these tattoos on me. So quite naturally, motherfuckers think I'm a stud. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, the way I walk, I walk. You know, I got some shit with me. You know what I'm saying? I walk like, my, I got big balls. And that's not even the case. It's just me. It's how I am. You know, I'm not no, uh, that's not. Yeah. So I'm walking. How it go? I get up in the cell. And, um, like, when, like, when you first get up in there, you got to be on med locks. Okay. Med locks is when uh, they they trying to make sure you're not detoxing from nothing. And mm -hmm. I was in there with this chick named Africa. She was my cell. She was already like, there? She was, no, we came up together. Oh, y'all, so they, you know yeah, yeah, she was getting out, okay, though. Okay. That bitch was just visiting. You know, <laughs> she I was doing the turnaround. Yeah, yeah she's doing the turnaround. She says, you know, <laughs> I was getting ready to be there. I knew I was going there. <laughs> uh, so... She up and you know we cool, we cool, cool. We on Medlocks, so Medlocks can only come out, get their food, and go back in. Long story short, I'm up in there and uh, <laughs> I'm up in there. Um, kites and shit start coming up under the okay, door. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Which that's just mail letters. letters. That's just letters. Yeah, kites is letters. Yeah, I'm just giving it to you. Let's letters. go. I yeah. heard that before. I heard Kites yeah, before. Kites. Okay. <laughs> and then they sent me a couple of Jolly Ranchers. Okay. You know what okay. I'm saying? Now, my father told me out on the street, don't you take nothing from nobody. There you go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't take nothing from nobody. Now, Why? man, you, I'm big as fuck. they don't want you. you, don't. you that, that mean you like bitch. Yeah, oh, you can't take, okay. no, you no, can't nothing. take nothing from nobody. It's like, you know. They own you. They own you. You know, so the Kites and stuff came up in there. I'm reading the letter and everything. It's a bitch. She's shooting her shot. Now, man, y'all told y'all I look like Kevin Gates with all the tattoos and <laughs> little hair on my head and stuff like that. So everybody keep looking in the door and everything. Like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, some people come to the door. You got some dope. Now, check this out. <laughs> no, this you the one. No, no, no. Listen, when I was downstairs and, and, and this is some real shit. You know, I'm downstairs and booking. So I was downstairs and booking and holding for like, maybe like 
mm, 14 hours. So the dudes who clean up, they throw bundles of dope. It is what it is. They got to get rid of the shit so they throw it up in there when they clean up the girl, the girl mm-hmm. book, you know, whatever. Yeah. Some of the bitches got it, but it wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? I don't want shit to do with none of y'all dope. I don't know. I don't even know nobody. But he's not finna tell on me, bitch. I, I'm fighting enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm fighting enough. Have it go. You know, they come to the door saying, I got dope. And they're like, you got some dope? No. You know what I'm saying? So every time I say no, I got to sit up in my bed to tell them no. So they, oh, she cute. This and the third. Oh, it's another stud on you. Bitch, I'm not a stud. You know what I'm saying? They, they still think I'm a stud to this day, which is the funniest shit ever. <laughs> but they be hitting on you all the time. You say what? They hit on you all the time. Absolutely. Listen, that shit works to my advantage, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It works to my advantage. But they, 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 listen, the bitch sliding the nose up under that and bitch leave me some Jolly Ranchers, y'all. Imagine you, I'm fat. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to eat these Jolly Ranchers. I don't give a fuck what nobody talking about. You know what I'm saying? If the bitch try to come at me, I'm going to beat her the fuck up. Because I can fight. Chicago told me how to fight. <laughs> like, this is this. And I, that's my mentality. And I come out. You know, when I ate these Jolly Ranchers, when I come up out of there, you know what I'm saying? I got to have my shit on just in case the bitch try me. Now, mm-hmm. imagine I ain't been, I, I done been, I done been locked up in, uh, when I came to ACJ the first time, um, I never made it up to the, the dorm. So this is my first time coming out. So when they pop out sales so we can really come out you know what i'm saying i'm walking around and everybody looking at me everybody looking at me and you got bitches choosing on me so i said i'm gonna use this shit to my advantage my dad used to be a pimp i'm gonna pimp me a couple of hoes i like so, what you did so what, no, what, 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 it's a mo it's mo no but when you're but talking I'm, about all this stuff i'm trying to figure out do females get raped in prison by other females fuck you think you went by <laughs> i'm just asking no <laughs> A bitch is in prison giving up some pussy. She, she wants to give up some pussy. And that's on, okay. the, and that's on the women and the man side. Yeah. It ain't no, it's both sides. If you doing it, it's because you want to do it. Okay, I'm just I'm Because they protecting asking. a nigga Listen, down there a lot, too. People be up in there gay for the stay. You know what I'm saying? People, they come from the street. I like they ain't never, they ain't never been with no female before. And here another bitch getting licked from the, the rooter <laughs> to the tutor. And they want to get fucked, too. Women are nasty. It just is what it is. Not every female up in there goes that way. But if you ever are curious and and if you're bisexual, if you're just gay, it's plenty of pussy up in there to get. And I'll say, listen, white girls, you know, you could be walking around trying to do your damn job. They call your name, you back up, they showing them little hangy titties. Put that <laughs> shit up. Bitch, <laughs> I didn't ask you to see your nipple. Like, it's, 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 it's one of those things. Let me ask you this. Like, what, when was the first time you seen two girls fight? First time I seen two girls well, in, in, in prison. prison. Um, in that, probably in that dorm, more like in prison they, or in jail. In prison, me. That's oh, the so first time you never seen one before you. No, nah, motherfuckers argue. So how was it the first? So you, how did you end up getting into your first fight? Was it in that now, dorm? No, wait, wait, check this out. Let me, let me backtrack. Um, there had been fights up in there. I hadn't seen one. Mm, okay, but the first one I seen, you was involved. Tell I me beat what that happened. Bitch, I hush. What she happened? Why she come at you like that? First, okay, I was dealing with this bitch. You know what I'm saying? You peeping already? No, 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 no. I was in prison, and I had a, a girlfriend. In okay. Now, let me back it up, because I had a girlfriend the whole time I was locked up. You know what I'm saying? I had a girlfriend I had the whole time I locked up. The same one. Up. Just one. No, let me go back. When I was in jail, I had a girlfriend. I had this white chick named Sam. This white bitch named Sam. I never did anything with her because it was a CR. I was trying to get some pussy too. Um, she, and she just got on my nerves. You know what I'm saying? She forced herself to be my girlfriend. She was just in the way. You know, like I bitch, I was looking like Kevin Gates up in there. So I was trying to use my shit to my advantage. Mm-hmm. You know. And when I got to prison, um, I had this other chick I used to uh, deal with. Cute little girl, Mariah. Um. She was cool, bitch. Got ninety nine, ninety nine point nine nine years. You know what I'm saying? But the whole thing, that ain't got nothing to do with. She still was cute. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Now, here's the thing. What I didn't like about her is, I understand. I keep saying I look like Kevin Gates. You know what I'm Mm -hmm. saying? But the bitch really was trying to make me into a dude. I'm like, girl, we sitting in the yard. I got my legs crossed. She pushed my leg. What the fuck you doing? She wants you to open my (laughs) wide. I'm a girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna. Like, you walking up the road. So she gets mad at me, right? So it's this chick named Mira comes. Chick named Mira. Chick, Mira looks just like a monkey. 
know what I'm saying? But a cute ass monkey, bald head, whatever. <laughs> Clearly, she's a stud. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm gonna say bald, but she got ways. Like she got some swag to her. She come in. You know, at this point in time, I'm a power work. All the time, the bitch uh, Mariah, she know Mira from County. Okay. So she knew she was coming up there. So she trying to, you know, she want her stud. She want a nigga. I'm not a nigga, bitch. You're not I'm a doing bitch. good enough. You know, I wasn't going to do good enough. You know, bitch, I'm buttoning my coat all the way up to the top. You want me to have my shit swinging over? She want my damn skull cap to the same. Bitch, what is wrong with you? I'm not no day We are bitches up in here. <laughs> The fuck? I just got some pads. What are you talking about? Mm. <laughs> like, what are you saying? Look, so I have it go. I found out the chick, Raya, is trying to play me with the bitch, Mira. You know what I'm saying? Me and Mira is silently getting to it, and I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? Imagine I already got my crew up in there, because my crew came from county with me, so we in that bitch d boy. Imagine you. I can fight. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Everybody on my shit can fight. So it's like, it's whatever. And it's whatever when you ain't scared to go to the fucking hole. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I got some commissary too. Bitch, you crazy. It's how, it go, how it goes. Uh, me and Mira finally have a conversation. They move Mira into my cell. And Mira tells me that the bitch Mariah is, you know, trying, you know, they ain't your girl because she's trying to do this, that, and the third. So I'm like, oh, the bitch trying to play me? Cool. You know what I'm saying? So Mira was cute. I like monkeys. I like animals and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so me and Mira get to talking, we get to babbling or whatever. One, I get to showing my girl he said, I start going to bed with no panties on, no my t-shirt and stuff on. You know, I lost some weight showing my thighs and everything. And the next thing you know, her head in between my legs. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So oh, we, we, Mira. Mira. Mira the so fan for you. Listen, listen. Best head, listen, best head around. <laughs> That bitch can bottle it up and sell it. She can bottle it up and sell it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, me and Mira get the creeping on Mariah. Damn, y'all done extra out the game. Yeah, we fuck her. <laughs> the bitch, she tried me first. It was payback. Hey. You know what I'm saying? So, she, now, didn't know, she didn't know you could get girl and she wanted you to open your legs. And she, you like, nah. Hey. Like, I like dudes. I like niggas. When they release me, bitch, release me with some knee pads on. I'm sucking dick. What are you talking about? Huh? Not Man. So, I got to get... fight. Yeah, I got to get you that fight. fight. All right, so the fight. Me and Mary have been together for a long time. Now, because I end up having her my whole, my whole... She was my girlfriend my whole bit. Wow. You know what I'm saying? My whole bit while I was at Muncie. Now, check this out. This bitch is cheating 40 going north. Listen, she's she's fucking everybody with the three pads in the trash bag. Uh, the what the fuck? <laughs> that's the deal, though. That's how you make yeah, the dicks yeah, up in yeah. there. Three pads in the trash bag. That's if how you, you make the dicks. down. Three, wow. three pads in the trash bag. And that's what they use. And the and ace band. That's how you make the dicks. That's how you make the dicks. That's a couple of ways to three pads. And the trash bag. And the trash bag. Yeah, that's how you make a dick. And you make a deal, though, like yeah, that. Yeah, you put it in the ace band, you put it right in, then you be like, uh. Oh, uh, Lord. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> They strap it on. They strap it on. Now, ch check this out. Well, I've never I'm, heard that before. Well, you heard it now. <laughs> check this out. You can't fuck me with no deal, though. Yo, right. In real life, no, 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 no. In life, in prison, no damn well. I'm, you're not going to be hitting me. I'm not sucking the tip or none of that. I like real stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So me and Mary, we were separated anyway on the compound. You know, so she was over there. She doing whatever, whatever, whatever. I just see her at yard. Long story short, um, Mary, she talked a lot. She ran her mouth a lot. You know what I'm saying? The bitch, he had a cold mouthpiece. Like, her tongue was like a razor blade. But the bitch couldn't fight. You know? So she knew I could fight. Like, she knew I was rough or whatever, whatever, whatever. So she used to use me like I, I she'd tell people, I'd get my girlfriend to beat you the fuck up after she done licked their ass and everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If they say anything, she gonna beat you the fuck up and I'm a helper. You know what I'm saying? That's how she was. That's the type of chick she was. Long story short, the bitch ended up going to the hole. You know what I'm saying? So I come outside trying to figure out why my bitch went to the hole because if somebody tried to pull it with her, I'm going, I'm gonna be a tornado. I'm, we, we finna flood this bitch. It is what it is. You know, because Cause when you up in there, your relationships is who you are. If you fuck with somebody, you fuck with them. Um, you're going to ride for them. I mean, that loyalty thing is, is, and I'm a very loyal person. You know what I'm saying? Right, wrong, and different, that still was my girl. Mm. I have a girl, I come out there. Now, here come this bitch uh, uh, looking like a lit cat. I see her when she come in the yard. I see her when she come in the yard. Face look like putty. High yellow, but she thinks she the shit because she high yellow. She come in the yard, I see her. I felt the devil over me. You know what I'm saying? Because the bitch was horrible. She was horrible. She was like Lucifer in, in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? I see her coming. I'm standing over there. I'm trying to talk to my folks, Elle. Uh, shout out to Elle. I'm sorry you back. Um, what's up? She just <laughs> got back. Yeah, she went back. She went Damn. back the other day. Um, 
I'm talking to my folks, hey, on this bitch come and I see it make a beeline for me. So I see her and I'm trying to, I'm, I know it, I'm, I know it. You know what I'm saying? I feel it. I feel it over me. And you she comes, she, there. um, yeah, she tell me now, I, it's no reason for you to be talking to me, bitch. We don't even socialize. No reason for you to be talking to me. Um, I go ahead, I'm standing there, I see her walk over there to me. You know what I'm saying? So she, yeah, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, over here. You uh, know what I'm saying? Like she got an office or some shit here in the yard. <laughs> So I follow her over to this light post, and anybody can tell you this. I follow her over this to this light post, and she stand up on the light post. She's shorter than me. Now I don't lost a lot of weight at this point in time, so I'm in my I'm like 160 or some shit, just a tall stream being. You know what I'm saying? So this bitch stand up on the light post, and she yeah, I, I heard you wanted to see me. I heard oh, you had some. Oh, bitch! You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know? And she's going and she's talking and she's talking. And it's like womp, womp, womp. One. Now I blacks out. I blacks out for real. If I get mad enough, I black out. Um, so I'm trying to walk away. I remember me. I remember my 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 feet trying to take me in a different direction. And I remember this bitch telling me, "Yeah, cause I'm that bitch, and you don't want to fuck with." Listen, I have to, when I lay down at night. I lay down. I, even though I lay down with my man, I lay down with my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody do some shit to me that I can't get my get back, and I, they stand right, bitch. Who the fuck are you? Listen, I turn back around and I whoop that bitch ass like her mother Damn. should have. Damn. All her clothes, shoes, whoop that bitch ass. Listen. So that woman that you beat up, Fuck her. what did she do to, to get locked up in the first place? She killed her kids. She killed her kids? No. And you fighting her? She killed, how many kids what did she hell? kill? You thought I was gonna let the baby kill her say some shit to me? <laughs> She you know, the the baby. She threw one of the motherfuckers from a car like it was a football. God, how Sunday. many kids did she have? Um, she had three, but uh, she killed two. But she crazy. The bitch ain't crazy. You beat a baby. Anybody who don't kill her kill her own the kids. The bitch didn't kill me, but she killed her kids. <laughs> Let that sink in. She not crazy. Damn. Babies can't fight back, bitch. I can. I will beat you the fuck up. Wow. So mm. I had that something I thought about when you said. They, when they go to the hole, do they come back to the same cell or no? Absolutely not. But since I had beat that bitch up, let me talk about this. <laughs> since I beat that bitch up, listen, she was a, a menace to the whole compound. She had accumulated like an extra 25 years just off of assault on COs. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So when uh, when I whooped her ass, like she was trying to get me, uh, she was trying to get a, a, a compound separation. She was trying to get me sent somewhere else. The fuck, when I say I met everybody, every head from the ward known that all lieutenants, sergeants, I met all staff members. When they took me for my hearing, because you have to do a hearing, you know, they got to tell you what you charge with and all this other shit. When I went up in there, a motherfucker asked me, what kind of coffee you drink? What kind of donuts you eat? Man, you don't get no damn donuts in prison. <laughs> You know, you live in the stand. I say I don't drink coffee. You know, I don't want no donuts. <laughs> Motherfuckers tell me, I listen. I'm, listen, we're thankful. Wow. You know what I'm saying the warden told me, said you good as long as you on this compound, whatever you want. Sergeants, they gave me when I was in the hole. They gave me a two tray order. Damn. Meaning I get two trays. You know what I'm saying? Every meal I get two trays. I had my way. When I got up out of the hole, they sent me back to the same cell. They gave me all my contraband. They when I say I had my entire way my entire way my whole stay my entire wherever i wanted to go they let me co staff members when i fuck with me i was carrying contraband i had all type of shit i i was transferring dicks from one pod to another <laughs> for other people i had my way i gotta ask you something like when it come down to me in prison they used to degrade them by making them whether it be stand naked in the yard or shave their face or Things they did to degrade them. What what things did they do to degrade women, like the guards, when they trying to make them look bad in front of others? Um, you, my guards ain't do shit. They ignore your ass, put you up in there. Um, well, I had an incident in the yard. It was this dude named Baker, C.O. Okay. Baker. I don't know if he worked or not, but he two things. He hated blacks. Well, three things. He hated blacks. He hated gay people, um, and he hated women. Okay. That's why I don't know why his bitch ass was working in a fucking women's prison anyway. You know what I'm saying? You coming over here to trying to bully somebody. You go outside in the world, dudes really whooping your ass. You a pussy. Wow. How'd it go? Um, he lied. Me and the chick I was dealing with, we was on the um, yard. This is after I got out the hole. You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, the chick I was dealing with, they couldn't stand her. You know, they really hated it. They hated her and they hated the fact that I was with her because she just she just didn't deserve me. It just was. And you know, I had my way. I had free will. And she was trying to use that shit to her advantage. Long yeah. story short, 
It was I used to wear my Kimar. So the uh, Kimar is white and it's like little red bugs used to I look like a light bulb. You know what I'm saying? Like a fucking light bulb. But the um she was getting the bugs off my Kimar, you know? And uh the CO seen her and told her to cuff up and told her, you know, said she assaulted me, she had slapped me. And I had to tell her, I said, I just got got out the hole for beating the bitch on her shoes and clothes. You think I'm finna let this bitch slap? Now I done bought her up on this yard before. You know what I'm saying? I done stolen her a few times on this yard. You think I'm finna let her slap me? That don't even make sense. Make it make sense. So what he did was anytime you get assaulted or they say you get assaulted, you have to go to the infirmary. Now, at this point in time, I was on my cycle. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when you get assaulted, you have to go to the infirmary. You have to strip naked. You have to take off everything. They have to take pictures of you front, back, side to side, mm. hands, feet, everything. But because they have to have a, a a record of your injuries if there are any injuries you know they have to cover their ass and now they standing there recording me I'm asshole naked and I'm bleeding that was his way oh I went and filed all type of charges on wow. his ass so that's how they, they do certain little things because there's always something there where they try to yeah, do because, something to yeah. make you feel like okay discredit you because I always wonder um, with um, a female prison do you feel like men should be working at a female prison yeah, why not? <laughs> Where we gonna get dick from? No, it's like... <laughs> I'm not everybody on phone now. We need something to look at. I don't want to look at no bitch all day. I got a bitch as a Sally. You know what I'm saying? I want to look at a man. Shit, I want to look. I want to. I want to. When he walk past, I want to look at a man. Man, I look good on the outside. I want to. I want to. I want to see something. Yeah, I mean, but you need. Um, at this point in time, you got women that's transitioning to men and shit. So you got females up in there that really that have beards and muscles. And you need men up in there, you know, because them, them them shots make motherfuckers go crazy. Strong. Yeah, Did they you, strong as hell. No, because the reason the reason why I actually have because you have I've had males who come sit down right here who have been in prison and have females who are guards. And I don't know if this was every prison, but they said that um, because females were working there, they wouldn't allow them to have female pictures like all up in their cell and stuff like that because the female guards would get offended because, you know, naked pictures and all that stuff. So all that drama. So that's the reason why I was asking. Here's the thing. I, I, this is real. I feel like a lot of people that become CEOs are um, not everybody, but a lot of them are bitches in real life. You know, so they can't control the certain battles and shit that go on outside. They they are afraid to fight and they just think they're up here. You gotta you gotta realize prisoners are still people. I don't give a fuck what they did, they're still people. So people who look down on people like to go to the to the prisons and you know and, and boss them around. They can't run shit else in their life, but they like to go up in there and try to take out their frustration mm -hmm. and their anger and shit like that. That's why you see a lot of COs or some COs. Um, like they killed one of the COs when I was locked up. Really? They kicked his ass, stomped his ass to death with them Timberland boots. You know, like you, you, motherfucker, I'm up in here. A lot of people up in there for murder and shit. You done bought your soft ass up in here talking shit just because I'm behind this cell. When you pop these doors, same rules for you. I'm going to come out here and get right on your ass. You start trying to fight and you come on this unit by yourself, I'm going to stomp your ass out. Did just any, is what any of those is. girls take and throw pee? Period, blood, pee, and oh, in the wait face. a minute, goddamn! Yeah, it. yeah. Let's talk about <laughs> it. Yeah. You know, I, I get to the story over here on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Yeah, a couple yeah. of <laughs> Now, when I was locked up in the county, right? Oh no, 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 no! I was locked up. I was in prison. I was in prison with this. What's on the county? It don't even matter. But it was this big bitch, like a bell. She was shaped like a bell. White bitch, <laughs> tiny head. Her body was like the, the state puff marshmallow man with the little head. Her hands was little dial hands. You know what I'm saying? The bitch was strong, retarded strong. Arr, strong. You know what I'm saying? Look, this bitch stripped asshole naked. One time she stripped oh, no. out. Oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? And she was in there. She was flooding the toilet, all this other shit. Strip asshole naked. They had to cut her back, uh, take her up out of the bitch. Talking about, you never take me alive. Who are you going <laughs> she to She's crazy. But you got her out of there. You going home. You are not even <laughs> going upstate. You just stupid. You know what I'm saying? Um, another time, um, bitch covered herself in shit. Damn. Covered why? herself in shit. Because nobody, she don't want nobody to touch her. Well, oh, first of all, ain't nobody going to touch your ass. Man, you need to stay in your cell. You know what I'm saying? Wait, but you, people be in there. Listen, I and mean, I'm just gonna say this. Crazy. It's nobody. Look, look. You got in a few instances. You have people who are falsely locked up. You know what I'm saying? That I'm not saying that don't happen. But for you bitches who know y'all guilty, you know what I'm saying? It's nobody fought you up in there. 
So these people got to come to work and deal with your crazy ass all goddamn day. Nobody want to do this. You know, you done covered yourself and shit. Ain't nobody say, hey, we finna come get, ain't nobody, you ain't even did nothing to, to put eyes on you. You just done covered yourself and shit and still in your door, asshole naked. Just you know, making your time hard. Just, just making your damn time hard. Listen, I had, and this sounds crazy, because people gonna be like, well, what the fuck you mean? If you don't understand what I mean, bitch, shut up. I had an easy ball. I, I ripped and ran fucking prison like I was a kindergartner. Yeah, yeah. Like a kindergartner. Yeah, like, yeah. I did not make my time hard. I do what the fuck I got to do. I was cool with certain CEOs, you know what I'm saying? I knew who to mess with, who not to mess with, and I had my way. Yeah. Just do what the fuck you got to do to get up out of here. I got an out date. I don't live here. I'm just visiting. You know what I'm saying? Just a lot of life is in prison. Bitch, you up in here making it hard for them. Do you think life is want to be locked in they fucking cell because your ass with two and a half, two to five up in here, you want to take the damn spoon and you want to go over there and do hell bone on it? This is stupid shit. No, nah, that's real. Wanna smoke in a fucking vent and fall down to break their back. Making everybody's time hard. That's it's, the way they be doing. I know everything. it. A CEO would rather lock your ass in than deal did, with did you. Did you ever have mm -hmm. to transfer to another prison? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, when I got classified, I got classified to a minimum, but I was already dug in at the max. So, I didn't want to stay. So, I did this whole protest petition, <laughs> which is... <laughs> <laughs> this is some real shit. And I'll tell you this. I did this whole protest, whole petition. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I went up there and told, you know, we, we, you, you can't tell these people you won't stay at their prison. If your ass time for you to go, it's time for you to go. You, to go. you know what I'm saying? I told them, I don't want to go. I want to stay here because my girlfriend was there. And that bitch was a level four and I was a level two and I know she could never come to the, the middle. middle yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they like me. They fuck with me. So they told me, all right, you can stay. You they let you stay? They let me stay at the middle. Min me at the max. At the max. At the max. Check this out. I told you I dealt with that bitch the whole time I was there. You know what I'm saying? Towards the end, this bitch, when, when she knew I was getting parole, people do shit to get your date right. took. You know what I'm saying? And she was just doing shit that make me want to... Her you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I want to beat this bitch up every day. She just doing shit. She cheating on me with crackheads. <laughs> Bitches whose shoes is talking when they walk the bottom flat. You know what I'm saying? Bitches who got three teeth in the possible. Bitches who got two ponytails in the possible. All different type of stuff. Um, she, I don't. I had to ask the bitch. Is you on your way to being a crackhead? Is you a crackhead in training? Because everybody you cheat with got a fucking addiction. You know, Ew. long story short, um, I realized what she was trying to do, and me and her wasn't vibing. I'm like, let me get the fuck up off of here. Now, let me get from out of here. Now, before I tried to do that, um, I tried to talk to somebody else. It was this little white chick. That's like, she was nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this was like a fake ass Kardashian. You know, I was I want, want to have my little girl. This bitch gonna tell me, you know, they want now they want to fight everybody. Her yeah. and the little dyke crew. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they she, mad. Got a, she got a wild pack of dykes. <laughs> and these motherfuckers wanna fight everybody. Uh uh who talked to me. You know, she didn't want to recruit the rest of the dykes. Damn. And then and, and bitch, you mad as long as you on this campus. Da, 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 da. And she was making my time very miserable. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, my weight, I was stressed out because she was annoying me and I can't just take off on a bitch because I'm finna go home. And this bitch done turned six uh six months into five years. Damn. Let's be real. You know what I'm saying? She really turned six months to five years. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how it goes, uh, one of the sergeants, um, he knew what she was doing. You know, because it was it was, it was apparent. It was, it was everybody. Everybody. It, I mean, prison is big, but it's small. Mm -hmm. So everybody knows everybody's business. And the staff members, they don't get involved with a lot of shit. But I really had favor on me. It just is what it is. One of them sergeants, he seen her. Me and her got into it one day. That sergeant, um, I stayed away. I stayed away. I quit my job in the kitchen because I didn't want to see her. Um, I stayed in my cell or whatever. Long story short, she said some um, she said some crazy shit to one of them other staff members. They locked their ass in the hole, gave her 90 days. Oh, damn. So when I went up, when I found out she was in the hole, oh, I'm out. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Because you're trying, to, yeah, she's you trying know? to figure out how to keep you in there. Yeah. So when I go to, when I go to, uh, when I go down to the to the child hall, that sergeant told me, he said, you go home to your kids. Wow. You go home. That's hard. You know, and he he winked at me. He was a mean motherfucker. McMillan, he, uh, 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 that's not McMillan. McMillan was the short motherfucker. Uh, anyway. He was, he was, uh, he was, he was, uh, he was hard, you know, but they really had, even though they once said they loved me, I went on ahead, went over to security and put in an emergency transfer and I went to another prison. Wow. And that's where I met the other dyke that I saw. Oh, like. damn. Now, like that dyke over there, you know what I'm saying? She was a whole nigga. 
I don't know how long that bitch had been on those shots, but she was a man. Oh. She was a basketball. That bitch was tall, dressed down. Who was this handsome fella over here? <laughs> you can hardly tell it was a female. This she's bad. Oh, nigga. Nigga. No, she had them shots, them titties went in her stomach. I don't know where they went to. <laughs> She was muscular and she was tall and them dress was long. But she ain't had surgery though. I don't give a damn. That was like, that was gone. Damn. Like when you playing ball, I ain't seen nothing bouncing or nothing. Uh. You know what I'm saying? And which that that's how it be because one of my Sally over there, she she was going through the shots. That bitch had a fight. She and I'm trying to break up the fight. This I wasn't even a, in a fight. I feel like my ass was whooped. She was so strong. Damn. Like, bitch, go ahead, take her head off. Whatever, kill her. Mm. I don't know. But they, them make shots, make full them face you hair and every damn Everything. thing. And then a bitch was trying to get me in the cell with her, but I know them shots give you a little thing thing. <laughs> you not finna, you not finna touch me with that thing. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, we're moving a little bit too fast. I leave in 30 days. You know, I, I wanna get to know you first. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. I, I, it's what's cr the crazy, sorry. Go ahead, I'll let you um, go. What's the, um, cause I know you talk about you've been in a fight and stuff like that. Was your fight the worst fight you've ever seen in prison? Absolutely not. What's My the fight was the was the um, the necessary fight because it, it that fight I had it changed the uh, the dynamics of shit because that bitch was running that camp that camp is raggedy, you know what I'm saying? So it changed the dynamic. It changed prison for me, you know, because I became. So what's hard. the worst fight you've ever seen? So my folks blue. <laughs> I, I got a friend named Blue, <laughs> Blue and Rashida. They was girlfriends, you know what I'm oh, saying? Blue's okay. a stud, Rashida's a little funny looking ass chick. I don't give a fuck. She's a funny looking ass chick, you know what I'm saying? They get in tool with this, uh, this, 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 this Mexican stud. Fat than a motherfucker. Little hombre over there, <laughs> tall, lean, like handsome. This is a handsome bitch. You know what I'm saying? Swagged out, come from, I don't know which come from, but it's like, damn, you sure you're in the right prison? Because she was <laughs> handsome as hell. But they get into it. Uh, supposedly, Blue, I have to say, I should have put Blue on the fucking phone. But Blue, uh, Rashida supposedly, was, now Rashida has some money. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So Rashida was supposed to be over there, you know, licking clit with just a handsome stud. You know what I'm saying? And then came back and told Blue, and Blue, Blue was like, I right, fucked that. I'm finna get on this bitch ass. You know what I'm saying? They had been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth. And Rashida, listen, if your bitch get on somebody, you better get on them too. We gonna fight together. I was looking out the window, and I, all I see is Rashida and Blue. I, this, this was a game fight right here. I'm talking about, <laughs> they, they, they were, the no, 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 right was fucking it up, but they was tearing her ass up. His, I'm saying, his, 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 his ass up. You know what I'm saying? But end up breaking his, uh, breaking his leg and ankle and shit. Damn, it got that mm. serious. It, oh, it gets serious. That's real serious. I was going, it's something, I was watching one of your stories and it told a story that I could so much relate to was about when you came home, when you got out and your ride home with oh, the people no. you wrote with. Listen, I've been there. So I was like, this is the best story because I understand how you trying to not be around nothing crazy because you just coming home and you really gun shy as hell. You everything scaring the hell out of you. And then you get in the car with somebody who don't care about nothing that you care about. Oh. <laughs> so give me a little rundown on this story before we uh, get off of here. I, I I get out, you know, I see the kids and it's a it's a And it's your daughter, your oldest daughter. This my oldest mm -hmm. Shout out to my nana. That's my baby. You know what I'm saying? Because she did what she had to do to come get her mom. You know what I'm saying? The car that she supposed to came in wasn't the car. You know what I'm saying? She done called some nigga into. He thought he was coming over to get some coochie. And she done got the car and driving to Pittsburgh. To come get up and drop the uh, Pennsylvania. She come to get mama. mama. She come to get mama. She done went grabbed her sister, my goddaughter. They got a car full of damn people. You know what I'm saying? They pull up to get me. She done bought me clothes. She got, she got a trunk full of stuff. Dude, this is how gullible dude says for some coochie. He's still going along with the shit because he still think he finna get some coochie. It's some, he think it's a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. You know what I'm saying? No story short, they, you know, I go out, hug the kids and everything, put my wig on and everything, put my post. We get to driving. You know what I'm saying? Get to driving. They turn up Chief Keith. 
You know what I'm saying? Loud as hell. First of all, this little town, they got to come pick me up and it's a whole white town. Everybody already knows if you see my black ass face in the car full of black ass people, you're just coming from prison. So I'm just knowing the police is just going to pull us over mm -hmm. anyway because this is not the car I'm supposed to be in. Right. You know what I'm saying? I am scared. I'm scared of the birds chirping. I'm scared <laughs> of the wind blowing. Like everything is so new and you just don't want nothing to happen. Slow down, slow down, slow down. You know, long story short, they got the music up. <laughs> And I'm trying to say, yo, turn the, you know, I'm in the front seat. My daughter, turn the music down. You know what I'm saying? Turn, turn the music down. Can't nobody hear me down there. Turn, you know, they mama home. Like, ah, all this other stuff. You know, and I'm I'm nervous. So I'm trying to get, like, trying to, hey, 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 nobody's listening to me. So I turn around to the dude in the back. You know what I'm saying? He back there rapping. I'm trying to tell him, dude, this your car. You know what I'm saying? Try to tell him to turn the music down. He put his two fingers out there and shot at me. Bitch! <laughs> 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 The fuck you shooting at me for? Like, I was so blue. Don't shoot at me. You know what I'm saying? Um, come to find out, he got a gun up under the seat. You know what I'm saying? Not only do he got and a gun you up in under the, the car. seat. Up under my seat. <laughs> <laughs> it's up under my seat, y'all. And not only that, but the damn, the, the plates on there is expired. The taxes. Is... It's crazy. Listen, That's crazy. We get to, we get Just to start praying. Just start praying. I want to cry. Fuck, <laughs> sorry, God. I want to cry. I was so nervous. You know what I'm saying? They, they, I, I had to tell them like, yo, yo, y'all, look, look, I just got out. You know, I, can y'all please? This has to be, it's too much noise. And plus I'm getting old. When you start getting old, little shit annoys you. And plus I've been in prison, so the TVs and the radios don't go up over a certain decimal. Y'all got this shit blasting sky high like y'all riding down 79th Street. Please turn this shit down. You know, um, <laughs> they, we got it together. We get to Pittsburgh. We go to my first meal, some pop ass chicken. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got some money. I came out with some money. Um, I want to buy everything. Dude mad because he fan found out he really not finna get no pussy. You know what I'm saying? Because he still was trying to shoot his shot. And I'm like, boy, fuck you. You know? Um, he up in there. And this is some real stuff. He up in there. He got an attitude. He talking crazy on the phone. Listen, I love Chicago. I love my people from Chicago. But you don't have to be turned and crunk and 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 built like that every damn way you go. Yeah. And he wasn't built like that. You know what I'm saying? So he up in there, he talking loud on the phone and he's saying shit and looking dudes up and down and all this other stuff. And these dudes from Pittsburgh, not saying Pittsburgh got no real no, I'm not I ain't even trying to get down on y'all like that. <laughs> I love Pittsburgh. I fuck with Pittsburgh heavy because they do got some real dudes out there. But if these dudes get on your ass out here, you ain't got no they help. Nigga, I'm on parole. I got to report to my, my halfway house in a little bit. What and it's a gun about? under the seat. It's a gun under the damn seat. <laughs> Those people, if they people would have got on his ass, I was going right out the door and walk. The reason I asked you about that is because, you know, BG just got out. And with him getting out, they made a meme of him with sexy red, right? So at the end of the day, he having to come out and deal with the technology being on a high profile level like he is. In my mind, I was like, man, people should have warned him how this internet is when you come out here. It ain't like it used to be when we got out back in the days. Nobody had to worry about somebody filming you when you popular or if you wasn't popular. Right. So, like, I felt bad for him. Like, damn, they got him on a whole meme with sex and red. Yeah. Yeah, but you got to understand, most of the people that's on the internet are talking. First of all, half of the motherfuckers on there ain't even reached the level of success BGS has ever seen. That's real. You know what I'm saying? They just like to criticize. Motherfuckers don't come to the internet to get an understanding or get some comprehension. And they come to come there to try to be funny try to have that little clout for a moment not knowing in real life motherfuckers will really get on your ass yeah yeah you know what i'm saying however it go um my words to him is fuck these people That's they will real. never see never see good bad right wrong they will never see or accomplish half of the shit he didn't accomplish in his in life. Their life you know what i'm saying That's you right. got motherfuckers listen i black posted a uh my man my man. Hey, shout out to Black saying? Man. He gonna bring Fight Fan back too, y'all. Just be ready for it. That nigga ain't gonna leave his ass too much. No, he ain't gonna do it. Um, I, I, he, he made a post. You know what I'm saying? He made a post. He lifting weights. You know, Black is that. He's, he's him. Doing his thing. Um, you got people up under that comment, this, that, and the third. Then you got a motherfucker up under that. Why well, wait till tomorrow? Wait till day. And all this. You know, up under, But what the fuck are you for one? You know what I'm saying? Click on the name. Go to this page. This motherfucker in a wheelchair. His shoulders up behind oh, his head. damn. Ass. He ain't got that no you name. Way you know what I'm saying? This is how I be. I, listen. I had a... I, I just had a picture go. Listen, a lot of my videos or whatever, people don't 
people don't know. They haven't seen, you know, me lose the weight, this, that, and the third. So motherfuckers talking, this bitch ugly, this, that, and the third. You go to their page, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I had a nigga with a smile. His smile went, he looked like a fake-ass joker. He looked like a joker on diabetes with diabetes. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, what's wrong with the back mouth part of your teeth? You know what I'm saying? Like, everything is wrong with him. He got on a cheap-ass suit that don't go together looking like my old-ass lawyer. You know what I'm saying? His fucking shoes, them long-ass feet. Like, dude, talking about, I never take her nowhere. Nigga, me and you would never be in the same room because you wouldn't be accepted. You wouldn't yeah. embarrass me out here. You know, and the internet is different, man. Uh, I, I I bring up a couple of slick topics. Uh, I had a question. Drake, Drake got rollers in his hair on this on this oh, this. Boy. He got little rollers, they different colors. People been talking but Drake about Drake is it. different. Man, I'm just Drake saying. Drake is different with what? I don't know about he, the rollers. I, I'm not good with the rollers. I, that's just me. I'm, I, I, but I'm old school. I don't think those rollers. I think they clips. They look clips, ain't they? Yeah, it? little them curl clips. What is what is what does that do? I, I, I'm not. He likes to be different. Have, no, I'm talking. What does it do to your hair? But for this, real? It, the first it's not for doing one, no wave clips. You know what I'm saying? Them finger wave clips or them dumb 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 um pen curl clips or just some shit bitches well. You know what I'm saying? Or old ass pimp used to wear. Okay, mate, yeah, and his pops is a, was a pimp, so maybe he's maybe he's taking on that whole persona now. Yeah. <laughs> Recently I saw a post where um you talk about Kevin Gates earlier. Mm -hmm. He was on stage and he brought his girl on stage. Oh, I seen that. Was, that was his girl. <laughs> that was not I his girl. No, his girl. I said a girl on no. stage. What do you think about? To me, that's taking Damn. something to the extent. You ain't seen and my he turned on the stage. No, I didn't see. What did you say? I said I could just feel my fist balling up. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought I was I'm standing like, on some stuff. I'm like, who would accept but that? Like, why would she waited? do that? She opened her mouth and he spit in her mouth. Like, check why? The, check this out. My man can spit in my mouth because I know where that mouth done been. It done been on my pussy. You know what I'm saying? My mouth, that's 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 mine right there. <laughs> but to have Kevin Gates who talk about eating ass, and I love Kevin Gates. You know what I'm saying? At any given moment, he eating some ass. You know what I'm saying? He tell you how freaky he is. This, that, and third for you to sit up there and let the... And he ain't had no clips, bit. Uh -uh. He had dehydrated this bit. Yeah. He didn't say more. He had that, that, that white spit. Yeah. That yeah. Spit. yeah, that yeah. was. You know, when, you, when, you, when you, 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 your spit is missing missing the, the water particles. Damn it. Man. He had to dehydrate his spit, and it wasn't like a splatter. You know, it wasn't a beautiful sight. <laughs> he had cold spit. And that was the spit he spit in her mouth. And for her to smile, I'd be still she on Kevin Gates. She smiled and held her head back like it was and the And probably best swallowed it and everything ever. else. And I would still be on Kevin Gates' ass. I'm trying to figure out, did she sign a consent form or something when she went up there? She what was that? She she know know her. Her. She know, and she I'm a fan. You know she going to be his girl after this. Listen, I don't know who the fuck she is, but the whole thing is, is I, 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 I can't, I, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, what we being intimate, you spinning my mouth, that's the one thing. You ain't even gave me no dick. You just got my head back, you know what I'm saying? And my chin, and I'm looking up at you, you could put your dick right here and slid it down, anything. You chose to spit in my fucking mouth. That's disrespectful. That is the we craziest fighting. thing, man. But anything, now it's time for him to come out with an album now because usually something like that creates a buzz, and now you can come out with an album, you know, uh, and make some more record sales. That's the world we live in today. On the internet, you make a play, and then after you make that play, bam, you come through the door with a project. Am I right? Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. So it's time to bring out that new project. Shout out to Kevin Gates. We know you for the bring some That's banging music. <laughs> That's my time. I got, I got Kevin Gates got me plenty of pussy when I was locked up. <laughs> I don't, you know, the whole time when you were talking, telling the stories about prison, you, you know, you always say, you know, I can fight, I can fight. But I was listening to one of your stories on your Instagram the other day, and you were talking about this guy who you had cheated with, and his wife. Okay, she was. Oh, this bitch. <laughs> yeah. big, big, why you bitch. run from her? If that you can so fight, big. if you can fight, why you didn't stand up and fight her? First of all, I don't know how to pick and choose my goddamn battles when you up there. You're not gonna send me into no ass whooping, Miss Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? I know my weight limit. I'm, I'm, at that point in time, I was a hundred. I was a hundred and fifty-four pounder. That every bit of four sixteen. What the fuck you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? And the was quick. I ran around the motherfucking cops. What's that? You talking about? Cause the bitch tried to get on my ass. So you said she thing. knocked out. You said she knocked out the homeless she person. She knocked out the homeless bitch. I'm running around the homeless bitch. Hey, hey, I'll pay when you get this big bitch on my ass. 
ass. I need a couple of dollars. You know what I'm saying? They say, I got my revenge, though. I got her ass. She ain't get me. I you ain't seen her again after that? That bitch. I thought I threw that motherfucking hot grease on the nose. Damn. No. Bitch, you gonna stop coming to my fucking house. You come over here, I'm gonna send your ass back or to the hospital. Man. And I taste the bitch too. Man, her nigga. That's CC, man. Y'all see these shoes, man. I'm gonna go back to them one more time before we get off of here. Make sure y'all check out her shoes. Where can they get these at? Um, The link is BennyCBenicio.com. Um, my live shoes. Wow. Wow. And you stories that you have coming uh, out that says how to become a criminal. Oh, that's out? <laughs> that, no, they, yeah, the one that you said. You they out. They out. Um, you put that out because everything you were doing before was all prison stories. Now you branching off into that. It's because everybody asking for it. Um, people want to know. People are interested in my backstory. What happened before I even went to prison or how did I look? How did, what was life like and this, that, and the third. And I tell these stories and even though they're in chronological order, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in between. So it's mm -hmm. not just black and white, it's a gray area. So that how I became a criminal, it tells the story of leading up into prison and you know until the the whole situation me going to prison. But that's just, that's my members only page, but right now I'm talking about my um for the like the public, I'm talking about my transition into life. How I end up becoming Rick Ross manager. How I became. How how did I get on the reality show? They're seeing me transition from that inmate to the woman I am now. So it's a whole complete journey. So you seeing me having to um, go to the halfway house. How I got my first crib. Um, me bringing my children out there to live with me and just everything. You see me become a grandmother. You see me transition from just an ex-con you see me lose the weight you see me gain the weight wow. all of this you know so yeah. it's a journey it's a journey i love how you keep to the certain topics too because when i go on there i i see like everything talking about cheating and sex and all of that in this segment is not like you jumping from one topic to the next and get confused so, so to say you hold my attention with that topic and then I appreciate you, so that. I love the way how you're doing that. Man. I appreciate this. It's a, it's a, it's a, um, my thing is like people want you to, they try to dictate. See, see, when you talked about fing last time, talking about something, bitch, don't come over here. <laughs> you don't come over here and run my show. YouTube got a button, you can create your own shit, but ain't nobody gonna listen to you. That's so real. I'm gonna talk about what I wanna talk about when I wanna talk about it. Bitch, if you don't like me talking about how big the dude was and I couldn't handle it, you know what I'm saying? What's Take the biggest? You ever seen? What the hell? What size was that? No, it was a retarded. Watch our one on one going another way. <laughs> what size was that? I don't, I don't know. know what's going on. But it was some <laughs> that shouldn't be allowed on a man. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> listen, and he think that shit normal. You know what I'm saying? It's not normal. What the f is he? Did that? he have a ring on? No. Ooh. No. The just had a long dick, and it was big, and he was. It was. I couldn't do no. What is this? Man, y'all took my show it? another way, man. We gotta talk, talk about this. Yeah. We gotta talk about this. Y'all gonna have to get your own goddamn show, man. I'm not doing this with y'all, man. Boss Talk 101 is went a different way. You know what I'm saying? Check it, man. Somebody taking it, though. Hey, man. Listen, <laughs> man. Hey, man. Oh, up, man. Say, so, CZ, CZ, how can people get a hold to you if they trying to reach out? <laughs> <laughs> How much? I'm gonna get a hold of you. Um, you can check me out on Instagram. I am Cecilia Robinson too. Check out the weight loss journey. Check That's out hard. the shorts. Um, you can check me out on YouTube, which is CC Reacts. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. We do shorts. Um, Saturday I give y'all a new current picture of me since motherfuckers still think all oh, this ain't no way Kevin Gates got her nails paid for. Shut up, I pimp your daddy. Um, <laughs> you know, um. Facebook, Cecilia Robinson, and if you're trying to do some business, hit up E. He'll get in contact. You I will, man. Listen, y'all, make sure y'all go follow CC. Check out her new shoes. Check out her whole brand. It's dope. You'll see her on Boss Talk 101 only exclusive interviews from us. I'm calling that shot right now. Check it, man. Hey, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 where the bosses talk. And we out.